With Website.com, you can quickly and easily create your very own website with no coding experience. In this video, I'll show you how step-by-step -step, to create your own website for your own business with Website.com. Hi everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to create a website for a therapist using our Website.com web builder. What's great about our therapy templates is that they come preloaded with information and text, which you can easily use for your own site. So we'll start here from therapy.website.com. And here you can take a look at some of the features that make creating a therapy website a breeze. So to get started, we'll click create your website today. And from here, we'll choose our theme. You'll notice that we have a selection of themes designed for therapy websites. So you're sure to find something here that you like. So I'll scroll to the bottom and how about we go with this one. Once you've chosen a theme that you like, you can click the button at the top right that says sign up and make your site like this. Now you'll be taken to a page where you can register your domain name. We'll go with Page Turner Therapy. Once you've got your domain name, you'll be taken to a page where you can choose your plan. You can see that this is available. So now we're on the page where we can choose our plan. You also need to fill out your contact and payment information, and after that, you'll be ready to go. So I'll just quickly do that now. And then once you've filled out all of the information, you can click Create My Account Now. So on this page, you'll see that we have two buttons. We can go View Your Website Now or Build Your Website Now. So once our domain is ready, we can go ahead and click on Build Your Website Now. So we're now here on the Web Builder, and we can begin customizing our website. Although there is already some placeholder text, we're going to be adding our own text to some of the pages. We'll also need to change the name that we chose, which is Page Turner Therapeutic Counseling. But first, we have a quick tour to help us get started. So we can click that. Over here, you can see for our step one, we can choose a different color scheme. And these color schemes make up the different colors of your website. And you can play around with these to give your website a different look. Step two is you can edit various elements of your page by clicking on the elements. Step three is you can navigate between the different pages by clicking up here in the top left. Step four are the undo and redo buttons. Step five is the publish button, which is what you'll press once you're done editing your pages. And finally, we have the help section over here, where you can see our videos, our YouTube channel, and access this getting started tutorial again. So we're now here on the website builder, and we can begin customizing our website. And although there's already some placeholder text, we're gonna be adding our own to some of the pages. We'll also need to change the name to the name that we chose, which is Page Turner Therapeutic Counseling. We can do that by clicking on the text box at the top and hitting edit text. Then we'll type out our name, Paige Turner. So I'll press enter. And here you can see we have our text editor up here where you can access all the different functions of the text editor. So you can choose different font styles, fonts, bold, colors, you name it. So what I'll do here is just choose site title here and I'll change this to gray. I'll go with that. That looks good. So you'll notice that if I click on this text box as well, you'll see that it's surrounded by an orange outline and we have a globe right here. What this means is that this element is actually global, meaning that it'll be found in the same place across all of the pages of your website. So you won't need to go and edit this across all of your different pages. Now I also want to do a quick little walkthrough of how to add elements to your page. So you can add elements by going over here to the sidebar and clicking add. And say I wanted to add an image, I could click on this image button here. Say I wanted to add an audio or video, I could click on this button here. And it's very easy. All it is is you simply click it and add it and it will appear on the page. There's also the ability to change your color schemes, like I said in the tour. So you can click on these different color schemes here and you'll notice that they change the colors of the website. And I'll go back to the template default. So the next thing we can do is change this image here. To do that, we can click on the image, and in this menu that pops up, we can click Change Style. Now over here, you can see Image, 
and we're going to hit change. And I'll just find an image from our vast selection of stock images. So I've gone with this image here. And another thing we can do is add a parallax effect. Now a parallax effect is what happens when you scroll along the page. It gives the illusion that the background is moving slower than the foreground. So if you see over here in the panel box, I can click add parallax effect. And if you notice when I scroll, it looks like the background is moving slower. Finally, for the home page, we'll replace this block of text here with our own content. So I'll simply copy and paste in our own content that I have on an external source. So we'll go ahead and select all of our text, and then we'll open our external source, and I'll copy and paste my text in. And I'll just make a few adjustments to the text. That looks good. I'll also change the name here to say Page Turner. Now we can move on to the services page. So we can go to the top left and click on services. So you'll notice that we have a bunch of text and we also have another image here. Firstly, we'll be changing the image by uploading our own image. So I can go ahead and click on that and click change image. And here I can go ahead and click drop files here or click to upload. And I've now uploaded my photo so I can click use image and you'll see it appears right there. Now it's a little bit cut off on the top so what I can do is click on it and go to pan and zoom and I'll just move it down a little bit. That looks good. And like the home page we'll be copying and pasting in our own content right here. So I'll go ahead and select all of this. And you can see that it's a little bit cut off so I'm gonna have to move our content section down to give us a little bit more space. And I'll make a few adjustments to this text as well. It's also easy to add a video to your website. So just go to the add section of the sidebar and click on audio and video and then video link. So you can see that appears right here. And I'll just put this in the middle of my page. And to change the video link, you can click on it and choose change video. And over here in the panel box, put in a video link here. So I have one as well on my external source, so I'll choose that video. You can see that the video's changed here. We can also add an RSS feed using our HTML widget tool found in the sidebar. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move this video file over, and I'll go back to the add section of the sidebar. And I'll go down to the bottom here where it says custom HTML. And I'll just place that right here. And to change this, I'm going to have to put in HTML code. So I can go edit HTML code. And this is where you'll be pasting the HTML code. So what I'm going to do is go to my external source. And I have a psychology RSS feed here that I'm going to be putting in. So I'll go to that page first to show you what it looks like. And this is what it'll look like on my page, an RSS feed. So to put this into the website.com editor, simply copy this HTML script, go back to the editor and paste it here. And it's that easy. It won't show up here or in the preview mode for security purposes, but when you go to publish your website, it will work. You can insert almost any third-party plugins to your website, such as a PayPal button. The next thing we can do is create a blog page. So to add a page, we'll go to the Pages section of the sidebar and click this button here that says Add Page. In the Category section, we'll choose Blog, and we'll call this page Blog. Press Done. A blog is great for getting connected with your potential and existing customers. And with Website.com, we offer a powerful blog app that is already built in, so you don't need to install a third-party blog. So what we can do here is go to a new blog entry and let's just make a intro blog. So here's the title. And a thing about the title, the URL of our blog post is SEO friendly and that contains the title of the post. So the title of the post can give both your readers and a search engine a good idea of what the article is about. So I'll go ahead and take some content from my external source.
and you can go ahead and press save. You can see we have our first blog post right here. So I'm going to go to the contact us page now. And the first thing I'm going to do is you can see that we have a Google Maps app right here is change the address of that. So I can click on it and in this menu here choose settings and then I can change the address that's displayed right here. And it's that easy. What I'll also be doing is adding a CAPTCHA to this form right here. So I can go click on it and in this menu choose form settings. And here in the tab that says security, we can go yes protect form with CAPTCHA and press done. Before we wrap up, I'll quickly show you how to convert one of our pages for mobile use using our mobile editor. So what I can do is go up here to the pages section and choose the services page. And to switch to our mobile editor, go up to the top left and click on this button that looks like a mobile phone. And if I scroll down, you can see that we have some overlapping of elements. So I can click and drag and move the elements around to make sure that they fit on a mobile screen. The first thing I'll do is click and drag and move this website.com video down a little bit. I'll also need to scale it using these dots that surround the element. And I'll put it under the schedule a consultation button. You can see that I also have overlapping here. So I'll move this out of the way and I'll use this dragging tool to drag down this so that I can fit this text box and there's no more overlapping. And I'll just drag it up a little bit. And I'll scroll down a little bit more. Finally, I'll put in our custom HTML RSS feed that we added, and I need to increase the content section size, so I'll do that. And I'll click and drag and put this in. And there you have it. We've converted our services page for mobile use. And that's it. I've shown you how, step by step, to create your own therapy website using our pre-existing templates from therapy.website.com. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact our support or check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.